Friends, I'm Miss Booksy and this is Storytime. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Belle and the Prince, formerly known as the Beast, were busy planning their upcoming wedding. But who ever heard of a yellow wedding dress? It's so different. It's fun to be different. <laughs> Whatever you say, but I'm not letting the Prince wear a yellow tuxedo. Totally fine with me. Yellow is not my color. The prince will wear blue, obviously. <laughs> and we'll have roses everywhere. <gasps> roses in my hair, roses on the gown, a bouquet of roses, roses hanging from the chandeliers. Oh, roses on the cake. Oh, it is going to be so beautiful. <laughs> and of course the groom will shave before the big day. Yes. Wait, huh? Did you have a beard and mustache this morning at breakfast? I I'm positive I would have noticed. Whoa, this place is crazy. What? Of course not. Oh my. Ah! Ah! What is going on? I'm turning back into a beast. Oh no. Does this mean I'm gonna turn invisible again? Oh dear, the curse is returned. The witch's curse that turned me invisible and you into a beast. What? How? Belle, the enchanted rose! The rose is magic! It cursed me before, and now it protects us! Maybe something happened to it! Belle, please check! I can't go out there like this! Oh no! It's gone! Where is it? Well? It's gone! Disappeared! Vanished! Poof! No! We have to find it, Belle, or else I'll be turned back into a beast forever! That wasn't so bad. It was kind of fun sometimes. <laughs> but I guess you were a little rough around the edges, and you did scare the neighborhood children really bad that one Halloween. And I guess it was hard to find clothes to fit you back then. And we did go through a lot of shampoo. <laughs> that was so funny! Okay, you're right. I have to find that rose. It's gotta be here somewhere. A rose doesn't just get up and walk away. Unless someone stole it. Don't look at me. I'm just the wedding planner. I would say don't look at me, but I'm turning invisible, so you can't. Obviously, I didn't take the rose. Hmm. Now, how to catch a thief. I'm going to need to do some research. To the library. Aha! Mysterious mysteries and how to solve them 101. Hmm. First things first, I need the right accessories. Wow, that is so cool. Second, look for the clues. To the scene of the crime. Clues, I am looking for clues. Aha! Oh, I sure am saying aha a lot. I guess it comes with being a detective. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, aha, a clue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A long blonde hair, a hair so long, it could only belong to one person, Rapunzel. But wait, could a fairy tale princess really be a thief? Oh, Rapunzel is super cool. I don't think she would steal my enchanted rose. Wait, what's this? Another clue. It's a note. <gasps> Better see what it says. Mm -hmm. Roses are red, violets are blue, but your rose is gone. Bye bye, Tudalu. <gasps> Signed sincerely, the princess you never knew. <gasps> the princess I never knew, huh? <sighs> what could that mean? Well, I better go find Rapunzel and see what the dealio is. Ooh, this is so exciting. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <clears throat> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, please. I need to talk to you. Use the stairs. Doors open. So many stairs. Sorry. As you can see, my hair is not exactly in shape for pulling someone up a tower. Ah! What happened to your hair? Someone stole my hairbrush. <gasps> Double mystery! Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? 
Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So you're telling me that someone stole your hairbrush. Yes, and my hairbrush is my most prized possession. I mean, look what, what happens without it. Ah, a bird. Oh, okay, I have to ask you something. Did you take my rose? What? What rose? My enchanted rose. The rose that broke the curse, turned the beast back into the prince, etc. Oh, right. That rose. No. Why would I take it? Um, it's an enchanted rose? That means magic. Hello? Okay. Well then, tell me this. Why would I find a super crazy long hair at the scene of the crime? A hair that arguably could only belong to you! This doesn't sound good. I don't know. Hey, what's with the hat? It's a detective hat because I'm investigating a crime. And believe me, I will prosecute to the highest level. I promise I didn't go anywhere near your rose. I'm literally always in this tower. Besides, I've spent the last day trying to figure out what this note means. Say what? What note? This note. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Without your brush, you'll cause quite a scare. Tangles and knots, oh yes, you'll be a hot mess. And I'll be the one who's most fair. Okay, that's some pretty good rhyming. But check this out, I gotta know too. Uh, then we've clearly been hit by the same burglar. Uh-oh, she better watch out. Wait a minute, you said you're always here. How did someone come in and take your brush? I nap a lot. It's exhausting being locked in a tower. Hold that thought. I'm getting a call. Uh, Cinderella! Hi, look, I'm with Rapunzel. Hi. Hey, what's with the hat? <laughs> it's a detective hat. I need a detective. What? Someone stole my glass slippers. No. Yes. Hold your horses, or mice, or whatever. We'll be right there. Okay, Rapunzel, let's go. You and I are solving a mystery. Do you have an extra hat for me? I'd kind of like to cover up this mess. We'll pick one up on the way. Come on. Meanwhile, back at the beast, I mean the prince's castle. Ah! Whoa, buddy. Sorry, I don't mean to be so beastly. Where is Belle? She's got to find that rose. Maybe we should just make your wedding tux a little bigger so you'll fit into it if you stay like this. I'm not going to stay like this. I'm a prince, not a beast. Rawr! Okay, whatever you say. How are they ever going to get out of this one? Walk us through exactly what happened. I was outside singing with the birds and squirrels, and then I went inside and I found this. Another note. What do you mean, another note? Okay, we don't want to freak you out, but it appears we've got a cereal thief on our hands. Cereal thief? You think they stole my Rice Krispies? Cereal means more than one, and this thief has stolen from me and Rapunzel too. Really? Yep, took my hairbrush. And took my enchanted rose. Which she tried to blame me for. Everyone knows a fairy tale princess would never steal. We're getting away from the point. The thief also left notes for us. What does yours say? I win, you lose. I have your fancy shoes. Your precious slippers made of glass, what a prize. And how lucky I am, they're just my size. That's so not cool. So let's think a minute. So far, this person has stolen my enchanted rose, your hairbrush, and your glass slippers. It's obviously someone who likes pretty things. Probably with long hair. And my shoe size. And good at writing rhymes. So a long-haired poet who wears a six and a half shoe. Or a rapper. Rappers are good at rhymes. Ooh, fun. Wait, what's this? Did you leave this here? No. Let's think. Who eats apples? Everyone. But who is perhaps the most notable apple eater of all time? Snow White! Hi ho, hi ho, to Snow White's house we go! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's keep reading. Chapter three, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The princesses were trekking through the grim forest, not their usual turf. They were used to butterflies and bluebirds, cake pops and milkshakes, flowers and ribbons. Grim forest was dark. Smelly. 
totally spooky. But then they saw some friendly faces. Hi there, lovely princesses. Whatever brings you to the Grib Forest? We're looking for Snow White. Is she still living with you guys? She moved into the castle with her dude. But you're in luck. They're renovating the castle, so the two of them are staying with us. Come on, we'll bring you to her. Snow White, we've got some friends here to see you. <gasps> Professor, it's an emergency. Let me guess, you're missing some apples? What? No, my magic mirror is gone. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, you have a magic mirror? I thought that was your stepmother's thing. I kept it when she was kicked out of the kingdom. It's my most prized possession. Mind if we study the scene of the crime? Of course. Hey, what's with the hats? We're detectives. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Aha! A note just as I expected. Snow White, Snow White, so pretty and tall. She is tall, isn't she? Now I have the mirror and I'm the fairest of them all. Well, it's clearly my stepmother, right? She would want the mirror more than anyone. Or it's someone who wants us to think that. Whoever it is is trying to throw us off their tracks. When my rose went missing, I found a long blonde hair clearly pushing me towards Rapunzel, but she didn't steal my rose. And at Cinderella's, we found an apple core, which led us to you. But wait, we didn't find anything but a note at my house. No extra clues. Right. Cinderella called me. Why would she call me? Because you guys are friends? Maybe she's the thief, and she stole her own glass slippers to make it look like it was someone else. What? No, that can't be. No way. Cinderella would never in a million, billion, trillion, gazillion years do that. You're right. She's the nicest. Back to square one. So what about my stepmother? Or another classic villain? Big Bad Wolf? Cinderella's stepsisters? No, they couldn't fit into Cinderella's shoes. Remember? The note said they're just my size. Or maybe that could be another intentionally misleading clue. We have to investigate every possible lead, starting with Snow White's evil stepmother. Are you ready? Ready. Wait. Do you have your stepmother's address? No, but I know someone who might. Hello? Hello? Looks like no one's here. Ah! <sighs> I'm here. Sorry, I was just cooking up something in my bubbling cauldron. Ooh, a magic potion? No, my world famous veggie chili. You don't even miss the beef. So what can I do you for? We need to find Snow White's evil stepmother. Oi vey, not this again. I'm through with that woman, you hear me? Done. Dunzo. She is so mean. We just need to know where she lives. You don't have to do anything else. We won't even tell her how we found her. Don't you have a crystal ball or anything you can just look into and see where she is? Wait, why don't we just ask her if she can see who the thief is? Whoa, of course. We're looking for a thief. Could we look into your crystal ball and see who it is? If I had those kind of powers, do you think I'd be living in this dump? No, I'd have won the lottery and built a fancy mansion with a waterbed and a jacuzzi. Oh, so what can you do? I can tell you that I got a Christmas card from the evil queen last year. There might be a return address. Perfect, let's check it out. Receipt from Radio Shack. Uh, that's a coupon for cat food. What's this? Nope, that's my niece's pre-K graduation invite. Oh, here it is. This is the address. Perfect. Did you read the poem? Poem? Christmas time is here, a time for love and cheer. So hang your stockings and trim the tree and have a holly jolly new year. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Hmm, it's a lot more cheerful than I would expect from an evil queen. Yeah, but the rhyme scheme is super similar to the notes our thief has been leaving. It's gotta be her, right? Only one way to find out. Thanks, ma'am. Hey, aren't you gonna at least buy something from my shop? Oh, uh, sure, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, how about that disguise? The Groucho, nice choice. And they're buy one, get one free. Cool, let's go. Oh, hold up. Hi, hun, <laughs> it's my boo. <laughs> oh, he's cute. 
Ah! Exactly. Belle, I'm going full beast mode over here. It's true. He's growing at an alarming rate. He's eaten every scrap of food in the kitchen. We're talking everything. Dried pasta, bags of flour, even the cat food. Ew. Yeesh. Well, don't worry, guys. I'm going to find that rose. With that, Belle and Rapunzel, the crime-solving duo, went back out into the grim forest to find Snow White's stepmother and possibly their thief. But this time, someone was following them. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. Let's keep reading. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Did you hear that? What? Shh. I don't hear anything. Wait, shh. I still don't hear anything. I think we're being followed. Um, phew! Oh, look! I think this is it! Really? It's cute! I wouldn't have expected a quaint cottage for an evil queen. Hmm. Former evil queen. She got booted after the whole trying to get rid of Snow White thing. Oh, right. Well, she's still a villain, right? I just wouldn't expect a villain to have such a charming flower garden. Ah! 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 That was really scary. Ah. I mean... Hello. <laughs> we were just admiring your garden. Those are white oleander. Pure poison. And that's hogweed. Looks so pretty, but one touch will turn you into a walking blister. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Do you have any enchanted roses in this garden? What? Sure, play coy. We're on to you. Excuse me? We're here to investigate a crime. Oh, that explains the funny hats. Why does everyone keep commenting on our hats? They're not funny, they're totally standard detective hats. They're a little funny. Where were you this morning? And around lunchtime, and also yesterday. Where were you then? I was here. Got anyone who can confirm your story? Yes, my security cameras will show you I was here the whole time. Oh, okay. You like to rhyme, don't you? Rhyme? Yeah, make up poems, little sing-songy riddles and rhymes. How about this rhyme? <clears throat> mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You like that rhyme? Oh goodness, is this about that magic mirror? I hope I never see that wretched thing again. Wow, that is so mean. Wait, really? It ruined my life. I used to live in a castle. I was a queen. And then I got obsessed with looking in the mirror. Obsessed with myself. It's no way to live. One moment, please. <clears throat> Do you think she's telling the truth? Hmm. She could just be saying that to throw us off. Hmm. Maybe she has the mirror in her house right now, right beside your hairbrush, Cinderella's glass slippers, and my enchanted rose. Do you mind if we take a look at that security footage? Be my guest. Meanwhile, in another garden not too far away, the wedding planner and almost invisible Gustav were running all over looking for the enchanted rose. The prince had almost turned full beast. He wasn't used to it, and he was making quite a mess. Arr! You've got to find the rose! Arr! Have you heard from them? No! Arr! Keep looking! Arr! Aye, aye. Arr! Oh no, this doesn't look good. She's telling the truth. She's been here for days, and I don't see any sign of the mirror. Wait, what's that? What? Go back. Enhance, enhance, enhance. <gasps> that looks like a wolf. <gasps> As in the big bad wolf. And look, this footage is from after we got here. <gasps> we were being followed. Play it again. Looks like he's hiding something in the garden. Mind if we look around in your garden? 
Whatever, but remember, don't touch the oleander, or the stinging nettles, or the poison ivy. Uh, you put poison ivy in your flower garden? I'm a villain. We do things differently sometimes. <clears throat> Aha! There it is! What's that? A clue! You're gathering clues, running all around, but I can huff and puff and blow it all down. But where to next? How will you know? To the little pigs or to grandma's house I go. P.S. Nice hats. I'll huff and I'll puff. The three little pigs. Grandmother's house. It's clearly the big bad wolf. But it just seems too obvious, right? Maybe it's one of the pigs or Little Red Riding Hood or even Little Red Riding Hood's grandma. Ugh, too many leads. But we saw a wolf on the security camera. You're right. Let's go find the big bad wolf. He lives that way. Giddy up! What do you think will happen next? Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The two princess detectives hightailed it toward the big bad wolf's lair. According to my GPS, it should be here. Wait. We can't just ring the doorbell. He'll never answer if he sees us out here. Time to go undercover. OMG, I love it. Now the big bad wolf won't know who he's dealing with. See? Oh, good thinking. Who is it? Uh, what should we say our names are? Um, it's me. I mean us. It's, uh, Ziggy and Pinocchio. Who? We're selling vacuum cleaners. You don't say. I could use a new vacuum. I shed a lot. Cool, cool. What now? Okay, let's just cut to the chase, Wolf. Where's the loot? Huh? The loot. The stuff. The stolen goods. The booty. <laughs> he said booty. <laughs> that was so funny. What are you talking about? Don't play coy with us, Wolf. We know you stole our stuff. Now give it up! Listen, I am a villain. That's undeniable, but you're looking at the wrong bad guy. I didn't steal anything. We saw you on the security camera. Look. That's not me. Look at the tail. It's striped. So? Oh? But the note said, I'll huff and I'll puff. That's your thing. The note? Yeah, the culprit has been leaving us these notes as clues. Or I guess as non-clues to throw us off. They're probably out there stealing more stuff as we speak. Hmm, someone left a mysterious note here just today. What? No way! Yes way, looky. You thought you had me that you had won, but it can't be over that would spoil all the fun. Alas, here it is, your very last clue. Look for the girl who looks up to you. Hmm. What would you do if you were there? The girl who looks up to you. So we're looking for someone short, Thumbelina. Ooh, but she's like really teeny tiny. I don't think she could carry all that loot, right? Someone who looks up to us. Not at us. It said, the girl who looks up to you. You know, like she admires us, wants to be like us. Well, that could be anyone. Who doesn't like princesses? I don't. Okay, well, you're a villain. So, wait a minute. You're a wolf. Yes. So, can't you like sniff the note and lead us to the culprit? I could, but what's in it for me? Dylans aren't really into the whole helping princesses thing, if you know what I mean. How about all the doggy treats you can eat? Ah, let's go! Meanwhile, things were advancing quickly at Belle's castle. The prince was almost completely beastified. He had transformed every inch of him except for one teeny tiny pinky toe. That's it. That's all that's human about me now. My pinky toe. The one that goes wee 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 all the way home. 
That's the one. Well, maybe it's not so bad. You could wear your wedding ring on your little toe. Right, Gustav? Gustav? <laughs> ah! Oh, no. I hope they'll be okay. Ah! Floating head! Yeah, I'm almost 100% invisible now. Oh, dear. I hope Belle finds that rose. Why do you stop? The smell, it stopped. Kier, we're out of school. I don't think our seasoned criminal mastermind is a second grader at Herbert Hoover Primary School. Do you smell that? What, my rose? No, I think it's pizza day. Oh, we don't have time for this. My prince could be a beast by now. The spell will be irreversible if we don't find that rose. Do you know what that means? What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's keep reading. Chapter six, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Belle, Rapunzel, and the Big Bad Wolf had tracked the scent of the suspected thief all the way to a school which was currently at recess. Hmm, could be him, or her, or him, or her, or the teacher, or the principal. <gasps> this could go all the way to the top. Or it could be her. The eagle has landed. And these are my new shoes. Do you like them? They're a little big, don't you think? Thought they were just your size. <gasps> who are you? <laughs> who are we? Um, I'm pretty sure you know who we are. We're Belle and Rapunzel, AKA the princesses you stole from. Princesses! Wow! What's with the hats, though? Okay, they're detective hats, okay? Because we're solving a mystery. The mystery of the missing roads. <laughs> that was hilarious. And hairbrush. And magic mirror. And glass slippers. And it looks like we just caught our culprit. Wait. Hey, wait up! We need our stuff back! Wolf, help! Wolf! Wolf! Ah! Ah! I mean, hi, what's up, guys? Hand over the goods. Fine. Now, why did you take this stuff? These are important things to us and our friends. It isn't very nice to take things from people. I know, but you're real fairy tale princesses, and I'm just a regular girl. I wanted to be special. I thought if I had special princess stuff, like glass slippers and a magic mirror, I could be just like you. Oh. Well, that's kind of sweet, actually. Yeah, I can't be mad at that. But why all the mysterious clues and the dressing up like a wolf to throw us off? I like mystery novels almost as much as fairy tales. I thought it would be fun. Oh, now I get it. It was actually pretty fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was? Yeah. Wait, why do you not think you're special? I don't live in a fairy tale. My life isn't enchanted. I don't have any magical stuff or a fairy godmother or anything like that. Listen, oh, wait, what's your name? Sally. <laughs> Listen, Sally, you're super special. You wrote really funny clues with cool rhymes and you really had us guessing. Yeah? You think I'm funny? Yes, and very creative. We were totally on a wild goose chase. You might grow up and write your own fairy tales or mystery stories one day. Really? You think I could do that? Totes. <laughs> but we do still need to take all that princess stuff back. I know. Wait, where's my enchanted rose? Oh, the rose was dying, so I put it in some water. It's in the science lab. No, 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 no. We have to save it. Oh no, run! This way. Hey, it totally is pizza day. Cool. No! <gasps> yes, saved by the bell. You know, me, Bell. <laughs> Woohoo! Hi, Bell. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Looks like you saved the day, Belle. My prince, you're back. And now the big wedding can commence. Wow, I can't believe I'm in a real fairy tale wedding. This is so cool. 
Wow! Yeah, great food! Did you try the sushi? Mmm! Hi guys! Most of you don't know me. I'm Sally. I stole Belle's enchanted rose and almost ruined the wedding. But I wrote a poem for the happy couple and I'd like to read it if that's okay. <laughs> of course it is! <laughs> Here goes. Roses are red, violets are blue. It's lovely to see a love so true. Love strong enough to break a spell. A love you find in a fairy tale. A tale as old as time, a tale told in rhyme. I wish you all the joy and laughter, the happiest happily ever after. <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> to Belle and her prince. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Roses are red, violets are blue. P.S. Sorry again for stealing from you. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Thanks for the poem. The big mystery had been solved. The wedding was a blast and everyone was happy. Belle had traded in her detective hat for a wedding tiara, but she kept the detective hat close by. Just in case I need to solve a case. That sounded a lot cooler in my head. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. Uh, I just love happy endings. Thanks for coming, bye. Hey everyone, welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's gonna tell us about today. Welcome to Sweets Cafe. The tale of Sleeping Beauty and the Superberry Pancakes and Groovy Smoothie. Oh, oh no! Watch, you've never been cursed before? Here's how it works. Ah! I pricked my finger! Oh no, I'm getting sleepy. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Rosie. You're here just in time. Before everyone gets here and the madness begins. This is what it's like before the madness? There's so many people here at the cafe. What can I say? People love having a sweet, delicious breakfast before they start their day. It's my famous superberry pancakes and groovy smoothies. Perfect to wake up to. Worked for Sleeping Beauty. The Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, you know her. The Sleeping Beauty that got cursed by a witch to one day fall asleep and never wake up? That's right. But then she woke up thanks to my super berry pancakes and groovy smoothie. That's not what happened. She woke up because a prince kissed her. She woke up from a prince's kiss? Seriously? A kiss? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, kiss. Her. No, it was definitely my super berry pancakes and groovy smoothie that woke Sleeping Beauty up. Who, by the way, didn't let anyone else sleep because what she loved most of all was playing her drums. She was a drummer? This is gonna be good. Are you ready? Let's go! Pound the table, clap your hands, off we go to magic lands. Stir the batter, lick the spoon, hold on tight, we'll be there soon! Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess that loved to play the drums. Everyone in the kingdom loved her, even though nobody could ever get a good night's sleep. She kinda looks like me. Now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. One day, it was almost time for the princess's birthday, and she was going to have a huge party. Did you invite everybody, Dad? Of course, honey. Are you sure you didn't forget anyone? I didn't forget anybody. And everybody is so happy and tired. I mean, excited, very excited, dear. But that wasn't completely true. Everyone in the kingdom was invited, except for one person. I do not want to invite that mean lady who lives in the tower at the edge of town. Yeah, she's cooking in a giant cauldron and flying around on a broomstick and always picking her nose. And then she eats it. Something about her just gives me the creeps. Oh, that lady wasn't just any old lady. She was a sorceress. That's kind of like a witch, but way scarier. I can't believe everyone in the kingdom is invited to that birthday party except for me. They'll be sorry. Very, very sorry. <laughs> when the day of the party came, everyone was having a great time. This is so much fun. Quiet, everybody. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> uh, the princess's royal solo. Hop, 
hopefully it will be brief. Oh no. Uh, Who's ready to rock? Um. Let's rock and roll, baby. Done. Oh, I think she's done. Wow. I've come to crash this party and put a curse on your beloved princess. Oh, oh no! Uh, what did you do to me? What, you've never been cursed before? Here's how it works. One day, you'll prick your finger. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but it will happen. And when it does, you will fall fast asleep. <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. This isn't just any sleep. It's a cursed sleep. And you won't wake up ever again. <laughs> Tootaloo and sweet dreams, sleeping beauty. <laughs> That's awful. But what if the princess is very careful that she doesn't get pricked by something? She just needs to make extra super duper sure that she doesn't touch anything sharp. Yeah, the king and queen thought that too. So they decided that if they stopped the princess from touching anything sharp, they would be able to stop the spell from happening. So sorry, my dear. No more running outside. Blades of grass have edges. And no more playing ball. What? It's a ball. It's round. It doesn't have any points. Better safe than sorry. And no more playing the drums with sticks. What? How can I play drums without sticks? Here, my love, put these on. There we have it. This should protect you. Ugh, what use is being awake if I can't do anything fun? After that day, the king commanded to get rid of all the drumsticks in his kingdom. The only thing they allowed the princess to do was take piano lessons. What? Piano? But it's so... Do you prefer violin? No. Great! You will love it. Now let's hear Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yes, that's very good. Bravo. I could play a lot better without these oven mitts. Sorry, it's by the order of the king and queen. Keep practicing and I'll see you next week. I just miss my drums so much. What's the worst that could happen? But where can I get two nice sticks? Hey, those branches look perfect. Let me just grab some and play a song real quick. The curse took effect, and the princess fell asleep. The king and queen found her and were totally heartbroken. Oh, no! Our daughter! They brought her back to her bed and tucked her in. Maybe one day some hero will wake her, but until then, if our princess is sleeping, then so shall we. Everybody in the kingdom was so tired from not being able to sleep for so long, so they all fell asleep just like Sleeping Beauty. Meanwhile, just outside the kingdom, I set up my food truck looking for hungry customers. Turned out to be pretty bad timing. Everyone was asleep, but one day somebody showed up. Greetings, I am Prince Charming, and I have heard tales of a beautiful maiden cast under a deep slumber by an evil enchantress. Huh? I've come to rescue Sleeping Beauty. Oh, great. Well, if you wake her up, she's going to be starving. Why don't you bring her something to eat? That's a great idea. Something sweet, please. Today's special is my famous super berry pancakes and groovy smoothie. Coming right up. Ta-da! She's going to love them. Ooh, don't forget the super sticky syrup. Good luck. Everything you need to save the day isn't that bad. Thank you. And when she wakes up, Please give her this present from me. Will do. 
Uh, excuse me, my little monkey chef friend. Which way to the princess? That's easy. Just follow the noise. The noise? You'll see. Ooh, and also download my app, Noodle Maps, to your smartphone. Aha! That must be the noise. Will the prince be able to remove this spell and stop the evil sorceress? How does the princess wake up? All right, back to the story. Oh, princess, princess, where are you? At last, I can hear you. I'm on my way. Hmm, let's see. Noodle Map says, At the fork in the road, go right. Okay, I will go to the right. Doesn't look too scary. Although it sounds a little scary. Whoa! Roar! Give me your money! Money? I don't have any money! Just kidding! I'm a lion, I don't need money, but I am pretty hungry! Sorry, buddy, I've got no food to give away. I'm... Okay, okay, I was just kidding too! I've got some blueberry pancakes! You can have one! Whoa! From Sweets Cafe? You know Sweets? Of course! He's a legend! Gimme, gimme! Mmm, <laughs> so good! Okay, I'll let you pass without eating you. Thanks, I guess. Meanwhile, in the middle of the Sleepy Kingdom, Sleeping Beauty was continuing to snooze away! Pass me that basketball! Here, catch! What? No! Will the prince get there soon? It takes a while to find your way through a mystical forest. A faster route has been found. <laughs> Hello! You can only cross my bridge if you answer my riddle. Ooh, I love riddles. It's not supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be scary. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right, here we go. What kind of cake can you eat for breakfast? And it's always round. You have three guesses. And if you're wrong, I'll cast a terrible spell on you. Ooh, that is scary. Hmm, okay. How about carrot cake? You could eat carrots for breakfast? Wrong! It's not always round. Try again. Err, uh, um, round. What is round? <gasps> a wheel! A wheel of a car! That's not even a cake! Wrong again! You have one chance left. Uh-oh, um... <laughs> it's nasty spell time! Pancake. Huh? Pancake. Oh, good thinking, Noodle! Maybe if I offer him a pancake, he'll let me go. Would you like a pancake? Ah, you solved it! A pancake is a cake you eat for breakfast, and it's round! Ha! Now step aside, my little snaky friend. Speaking of pancakes, give me one. What? I solved the riddle! Look, I could still cast a spell on you if I wanted to. Just give me a pancake and I'll leave you alone. Fine. <laughs> Yum. Later. Wow, the snoring is so loud. I must be close. Thank you for your help, my trusty steed. Sure. Could I have a pancake? They look really good. If anyone deserves one, it's you. Wish me luck. <laughs> You're trespassing in my kingdom. This isn't your kingdom. It's Sleeping Beauties. Somebody put a terrible curse on her and put her to sleep. Who do you think cursed her? It was me. And now I'll put you to sleep forever too. Hold on. I know how this works by now. Let's just skip all the threats and the riddles. You can have one of my pancakes and I'll be on my way. Pancakes? Yuck. I prefer waffles! Uh-oh. Oh no! What do I do? Everything you need to save the day is in that bag! But she doesn't like pancakes, and the smoothie is for Sleeping Beauty. Don't forget the super sticky syrup. Of course! 
Hey you, sorceress lady, take this. Ah! It's so sticky. After the sticky, sorceress, keep straight. Get back here, you! Ah! I found you. Maybe I better make this more romantic first. Only one pancake left. We'll just have to split it. <gasps> mm, that smells so good! You're awake! Yeah, how long was I out? It's been a long time. I came all this way to rescue you. I defeated the evil sorceress, and I brought some breakfast. Wow, my hero! I'm starved. <coughs> OMG! This is the best smoothie ever! Where did you get this? My friend Sweet made it. Whoa, he is my hero. What about me? Don't worry, you're a good tip. Oh, and Sweets wanted me to give you this present. Yay! Drumsticks? Perfect! The prince and Sleeping Beauty lived happily ever after. And you know what they always loved for breakfast? Superberry pancakes and my groovy smoothie. And everybody woke up thanks to Sleeping Beauty's super loud drumming. And they had never been so excited to hear her music. The end. Sweets are cooking save the day. It's the best way to wake up. What a great story. I'll bet Sweets has so many more. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any. Bye. Time for story time games. Here we go. Let's play Spot the Difference. Beauty and the Beast. Can you spot all the differences? Here we go. I'll go, I'll work, and then I'll come home. No big deal. And so it was settled. Belle would go to the beast. Hello? Hello? Mr. Uh, sir? Oh, dinner is at seven. Hmm. Okay, so like, am I supposed to cook dinner? Is that my job? I guess I better find the kitchen. But when she found the kitchen, she saw that someone had already begun dinner. Did you find a difference? What seems different to you? Look at this! How did this get here? Okay, are you ready for more fun? Belle followed Invisible Gustav to her new room. It was pretty amazing. This is amazing! Belle's bedroom had a huge bed with like a hundred little fancy pillows and only about a thousand books. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed now. See you in the morning. I mean, not see you. You know what I mean. I should write my dad a letter before bed. <laughs> Did you find a difference? What seems different to you? Look at this. How did this get here? Okay, are you ready for more fun? Here we go. Belle and the Beast spent their first full day together flying around in a hot air balloon, just talking and getting to know each other. Well, mostly Belle talked. So yeah, my brother and sister are kind of annoying, but they're family, what are you gonna do? <laughs> do you have brothers and sisters? No. Do you have parents? No. Any family at all? No. Oh, so sad. Family's very important, at least you have your health. <laughs> and a castle. <laughs> your hair is also very nice. Do you use conditioner? I use coconut oil in my hair sometimes. What in the heck is that? It's a hot air balloon, you dingbot. Yeah, but what about a furry dude riding in it? Say, that looks like a monster. I don't like monsters. What was that? Someone shot at our balloon! Oh no! Ah, we're going down! Ah. Hold on, Belle! <gasps> there they are! Get him! Did you find a difference? <laughs> what seems different to you? Right over there! This wasn't here before. <gasps> Something's wrong. I can feel it. Sam's in trouble. I have to go save Sam. Okay, night-night. 
Belle had never gone on a rescue mission before, but she bravely went out into the night to save her best friend. Good thing I still have Sam's carriage. Giddy up, horsey! Back at the Beast Castle, the hunters had tied up Sam. Normally, he would have fought back, but he was so brokenhearted that he could barely lift a paw. <laughs> Belle! What? Belle's my sister. You'll never see her again, you mongrel. But he would see Belle again, because there she was. Our girl had a plan. Now, what are we gonna do with the beast? Did you find the difference? <laughs> what seems different to you? Look over here. This color is different. Okay, are you ready for more fun? I say we put him in prison. I say we put him in the zoo. I say you let him go. Now! Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? This! Suddenly, one of the hunters was swept off his feet into the air, and then he landed on his tushy. Owie! Huh? Ugh, I'm getting pinched by something. Ouch! Oh, that's just Gustav. Gustav? Where? Ouch, make him stop! Oh, stop! Ow! Sam, are you okay? You came back. I promised I would. You're hurt. Is that a tear? What the what? I'm back! Woohoo! I was cursed by a witch a long, long time ago. A witch? I was mean to her first. She was hungry and cold, and I wouldn't help her. So she turned me into a beast, made all of my staff invisible and mute, cursing me to a life of loneliness. Classic witch curse. Did you find the difference? <laughs> what seems different to you? Right over there. How did this get here? Did you find all of them? Wow, good job. Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today we're reading Beauty and the Beast. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Belle Rose. Hi. <laughs> Belle lived in a small village with her father, one sister, and one brother. Her father was very nice, but her sister and brother, not so nice. I'm not sure why they were so mean. They just were. And they were always fighting, uh, taking things that didn't belong to them, and making up ridiculous fibs. I didn't take your book, Belle. A ninja broke into the house and stole your book. But it was OK. As I said, my dad was the nicest dad ever in the history of daddom. <laughs> my dad had lots of ships that went all over the world selling stuff. One day, it went all down the drain. One very bad hurricane and my dad lost everything. It's okay, kids. We're still together and that's what matters. Yeah, family. One day, Belle's dad found out that an old ship had drifted into the harbor. It has to be one of my ships, kids. I just know it. Yay! Presents! Yes, presents for everyone. What would you like? I want a pony and a new dress and a tiara. I want a new bike and a new dog. And you, Belle, what would you like? Just one red rose from the flower market. A rose for my Belle Rose. Boring. So basic. So off Belle's dad went, whistling a happy tune. La 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 la, everything's great. But when he got to the harbor, he saw that the mystery ship was just an old pirate ship with nothing but a couple of parrots <laughs> and a rusty old hook on board. He headed back home, whistling a sad tune. La, 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 la. Everything's not great. And then as if things weren't bad enough for poor old Belle's dad, it started to rain hard. Oh, hey, a castle. I bet it's nice and warm in there. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? The castle is dark and very quiet. 
He slept like a baby all through the night, and when he woke, he found that someone had made him breakfast. Hello? Hmm. Better be on my way. He was just about to leave the castle when he saw a perfect red rose. Just like the one Belle wanted. What do you think you're doing? Ah! Nothing! I was just leaving! You come into my castle, sleep by my fire, eat my food, and now you steal from me? I'm so, so sorry. My daughter Belle wanted a red rose, and I saw this and it's perfect. I'll make a deal with you. Okay. You may go and take this rose to your daughter. Okay. But she must return and work for me. No! It's either that, or you stay here forever! But my kids, they won't know where I've gone. I, I can't stay. Then send me Belle. Belle's dad had left the castle with the rose, but he didn't know what to do. Could he really send his daughter to work for this beast? Surely not, but what could he do? I'll go back and I'll fight him. Stand back, beast. I'm here to defeat you. Maybe not. He arrived home, still not sure what to do. Dad, I was so worried about you. Where's my bike? Where's my pony? Their dad explained that there would be no pony and no new bike. It's okay, Dad. I'm just glad you're home. Oh, Belle, I did bring you a rose. It's lovely. Did you get it at the market? It's way prettier than usual. Interesting story, actually. He explained the whole beast situation. When he was done, Belle and her siblings looked like this. I'm not going to work for a stinky beast. Me either. No way. Gross. Of course not. We'll figure this out. I'll go. Great. That settles it. See ya, Belle. Belle, no. You can't. If I don't go, he'll come find you. And then what? I'll go, I'll work, and then I'll come home. No big deal. And so it was settled. Belle would go to the beast. Hello? Hello? Mr. Uh, sir? Oh, dinner is at seven. Hmm. Okay, so like, am I supposed to cook dinner? Is that my job? I guess I better find the kitchen. But when she found the kitchen, she saw that someone had already begun dinner. Smells good. So maybe I'm to set the table. But in the dining room, the table had already been set. Well, I guess I'll just sit here and wait for dinner. Whoa, how'd the food get in here? I didn't see anyone bring it in. Now where's that beast? I'm hungry. Okay, that's it. I'm digging in. I guess I'm eating alone. <laughs> Then Belle realized that she was not alone at all. What? Magic. So cool. But wait, if this place has magic invisible servants, then what's my job? And where's that beast? Any answers for me, invisible butler man? Alrighty then. <laughs> I think I'll take a tour of the grounds. Belle thought the castle was the most beautiful place she had ever seen, but her favorite part was the garden. These are the most perfect roses in the whole world. I wonder if the beast enters them into flower shows. He'd win for sure. I better not touch them though. That's what got me into this mess. Apparently the beast really likes his flowers. You can touch them if you want. Ah! Don't be scared. Oh, sorry. You just startled me. Are you, um, the... The beast? Yes. Come out of the shadow so I can see you. Okay, but I have to warn you. I'm super scary. It's okay. I'm super brave. Ah! Uh, sorry. I was, um, I was just screaming at something else. I thought I saw a bat. It's okay. I know what I look like. Let's try this again. I'm Belle. Hi. I'm the beast. And that's how Beauty and the Beast met each other. Aw, I wonder whether they'll fall in love. Maybe we'll find out in another chapter. Beauty and the Beast fall in love. Let's go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, a girl named Belle was living in a castle with a beast. Is that your real name? No, my real name is Sam. Oh, well, hi, Sam. I'll have Gustav show you a room. Good night, Belle. Has the invisible guy been here the whole time? Uh, boy, this is gonna take some getting used to. Belle 
Belle followed Invisible Gustav to her new room. It was pretty amazing. This is amazing! Belle's bedroom had a huge bed with like a hundred little fancy pillows and only about a thousand books. Princess and the Pea, nice. Cinderella, one of my faves. Sleeping Beauty, a classic, but I'd like it better if the main character were awake more. She snoozes through like the whole book. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed now. See you in the morning. I mean, not see you, you know what I mean. <laughs> I should write my dad a letter before bed. <laughs> He'll wanna know how things are going. Dear Dad, what a day. The beast is not at all what I expected. I thought he'd be all growly and snarly and mean, but so far he seems pretty nice. The food here is very good. <laughs> oh, and get this, all the butlers and maids are invisible. Anyway, I'm sure you're worried about me, but I'm really doing okay. Love always, Belle. <laughs> Belle was right. Her dad was very worried about her. It was hard for him to have his sweet daughter so far away and living with a scary beast, no less. Poor Belle. I just hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. So she lives with a scary monster, so what? Yeah, no big deal, Dad. The next day, Belle woke bright and early, excited <sighs> to start her new job. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, Sam, what's on the agenda for today? Stocks, bonds, monthly reports, number crunching? I was thinking we'd just go for a hot air balloon ride. A hot air balloon ride? Yeah, that sounds like fun, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> let's go. Belle and the Beast spent their first full day together flying around in a hot air balloon, just talking and getting to know each other. Well, mostly Belle talked. So yeah, my brother and sister are kind of annoying, but they're family, what are you gonna do? <laughs> do you have brothers and sisters? No. Do you have parents? No. Any family at all? No. Oh, that's so sad. Family's very important. At least you have your health. <laughs> and a castle. <laughs> your hair is also very nice. Do you use conditioner? I use coconut oil in my hair sometimes. It's very moisturizing and it smells delish. Do you have any coconut oil? It's very nutritious. What in the heck is that? It's a hot air balloon, you dingbot. Yeah. But what about a furry dude riding in it? Say, that looks like a monster. I don't like monsters. What was that? Someone shot at our balloon. Oh no! Oh, we're going down! Oh. Hold on, Belle. There they are. Get him! Belle, stand back! Alright, doggy, say. I'm not a dog. He can talk? Back up now or we'll shoot. That was so scary. Are you okay? I'm fine. Aw, look, you scratched your paw. It's okay. I'm fine. Yeesh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we're walking back then? Yeah. Belle and the Beast walked back toward the castle. Belle had a feeling that the Beast was a little embarrassed. Gee, <laughs> nothing like being shot out of the sky by a couple of huntsmen to ruin your day, huh? <laughs> I'm just glad it's over. But unfortunately, it wasn't over. The hunters had run back to their hunting lodge. I'm telling you, he's at least 10 feet tall. And hairy all over. And he had fangs. Huge fangs and claws. Huge claws. He looked like he was half wolf, half bear. But this guy was me. Yeah, and he had a lady with him. We have to go back and save a lady. Beast and Belle were back at the castle, safe and sound for now. <sighs> Now, let's get your paw bandaged. Turns out the beast was a big baby when it came to boo-boos. There, all better. <laughs> and you only cried a little. I did not cry. Sure, okay. I didn't. You know what would be nice right now? Hot cocoa. Gustav, could you make us some hot cocoa? Ooh, with the tiny marshmallows on top, please. With tiny marshmallows, please, Gustav. Cheers, Belle. Cheers, Sam. <laughs> it was cozy and peaceful in the castle. But deep in the woods, the hunters were on the prowl. They were acting big and tough and saying what they were going to do to the beast when they found him. I'm going to tie him up and I'm going to sell him to the zoo. I'm going to feed him to our pet alligator. You have a pet alligator? No, but that'd be cool, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. They were big and brave, weren't they? Wait. I'll hear something. <laughs> Yes, very brave indeed. 
The next morning, Belle decided she would do something nice for the beast to say thanks for saving her from the hunters. Good morning! Huh? Breakfast in bed. I made pancakes. Oh, I like the little smiley face. You should smile more. We'll have to work on that. And Belle did. She made it her top priority to make the beast castle a cheerful place. To the left. Little more. Now back to the right. Perfect. <laughs> he brought home a pet kitten, which wasn't so great at first. <coughs> but they got used to each other. I think I'll name him Scruffles. And she made the beast laugh with her hilarious impressions of Gustav. Huh? Gustav! Gotcha! It was me the whole time! I just pulled this string! <laughs> and that's how Beauty and the Beast started to fall in love. So sweet! And I wish I had an invisible butler to bring me breakfast. Beauty saves the beast. Here we go! Jiggle, snap, story time! Belle and Sam's favorite thing to do together was just sit by the fire and read. It was so peaceful and cozy. But it was also during these quiet moments that Belle thought about her dad and how much she missed him. <sighs> you all right? Yeah. Good. But things weren't so good back at Belle's house. Please, go to Belle and tell her to come home. I must see her. I'm, I'm not, not going. I'm not going. Jinx. jinx. Double, Double jinx. jinx. Let's flip for it. Heads. It's tails. Sorry. Ugh. Belle. I can't thank you enough. For what? <laughs> Scruffles? Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> no, I mean, thank you for everything. You just make everything nice. Well, you're welcome. And thank you. <laughs> I thought I was going to hate it here. No offense. <laughs> I, I just, well, you know. But I really do like it. I mean it. What happened here? I mean... You live out here all alone, you have invisible butlers and maids, and you're, um, different. I'm cursed, Belle. Okay, you're being dramatic. I don't want to talk about it. <coughs> I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about it. Good night. Okay. What do you think, Scruffles? Think we can break the spell? The next day, Belle's brother set out for the Beast Castle. I hate this. I'm hungry. Oh, a hunting lodge? I bet they have snacks. Belle's brother was also quite nosy, so he immediately began eavesdropping. I'm telling you, the beast was this tall. And we're going to find him one of these days. Back to his journey through the dark, scary woods. No trespassing ever. Beware of beast. Oh, this must be it. What? This place is huge. I didn't know the beast was rich. Cool. Can I help you? Ah! <laughs> what are you doing here? Dad's sick. He wants you to come home. Well, you can't go now. It's way too late. You're right. We'll go in the morning. Bill's brother was actually pretty excited to stay a night at the beast's castle. You know, now that he knew he was rich. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. Honest? Yes. Okay, you'll miss each other, blah, 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 boring. The next morning, the beast was even sadder. Finally, it was time to go. Giddy up! Bye, Sam! I'm so lonely! <laughs> yeah, he wasn't doing so great. Belle, on the other hand, was so happy to see her dad again. Dad! Oh, I miss you so much! <laughs> While Belle had missed her dad, she realized she hadn't really missed her siblings at all. Uh, Belle, we didn't think you were coming back, so we put all your stuff in storage. What's wrong with you? You look all blah. Have you been crying because you miss your hairy beast friend? Belle has a boyfriend. Belle has a boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. He's just my friend. <laughs> you should marry him. He is rich. He's rich? OMG whiz, he's so rich, uber rich, like he probably has a gazillion dollars. Suddenly, Belle's brother remembered something. That's it. What? When I was looking for the beast castle to bring back Belle, I stopped in a hunting lodge. Ew. 
Anyway, I overheard these hunter guys talking about finding and capturing a beast. So? Well, we could tell them where he is, and then we can take all his rich stuff. The two started plotting their super mean, some might even say evil, scheme. Can we help you, Sonny? You've been looking for a beast? I know where he is. Gustav, bring me more herbal tea and ice cream. <laughs> Belle, she's come back. Gustav, make that one ice cream two spoons. Belle, I'm so glad you... <laughs> ah! Uh, I mean... Rawr! There he is! Get him! <gasps> Something's wrong. I can feel it. Sam's in trouble. Sam who? The beast! Oh, yeah. The hunters are capturing him so we can take all his rich stuff. I have to go save Sam! Okay, night-night. Belle had never gone on a rescue mission before, but she bravely went out into the night to save her best friend. Good thing I still have Sam's carriage. Giddy up, horsey! Back at the Beast Castle, the hunters had tied up Sam. Normally, he would have fought back, but he was so brokenhearted that he could barely lift a paw. <laughs> Belle! What? Belle's my sister. You'll never see her again, you mongrel. But he would see Belle again, because there she was. Our girl had a plan. Now, what are we gonna do with the beast? I'll say we put him in prison. I say we put him in the zoo. I say you let him go! Now! Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? This! Suddenly, one of the hunters was swept off his feet into the air, and then he landed on his tushy. Owie! Huh? Ugh, I'm getting pinched by something. Ouch! Oh, that's just Gustav. Gustav? Where? Ouch, make him stop. Oh, stop. Ow! Sam, are you okay? You came back. I promised I would. You're hurt. Is that a tear? <laughs> what the what? I'm back. Woohoo! I was cursed by a witch a long, long time ago. A witch? I was mean to her first. She was hungry and cold, and I wouldn't help her. So she turned me into a beast, made all of my staff invisible and mute, cursing me to a life of loneliness. Classic witch curse. I had given up all hope, and then you came along. Your friendship saved me. Your tears must have proved how much you care. Oh, Belle. Oh, Sam. Ah. Oh. So mushy. Oh, can it, Gustav? I forgot how sassy he is. The end. And that's how Belle saved the beast from the hunters and broke the curse. Aw, I just love happy endings. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon.